Hi guys, that lad is here. This time I want to show you how to emulate old tape in a Logic Pro 10. Small disclaimer from the beginning, this technique of course is uh, not a replacement uh, to working with uh, with a real tape because when you are working with, with this physical scene it adds so many nuances and details to the sound that it's going to be really hard to emulate using plugins. But still, if you don't have uh, tape recorder at hand, I don't have any for instance, then this technique can actually give you pretty convincing uh, results. Uh, so let's begin. As a source, I uh, chosen uh, one sample from uh, Apple Loops. It's a piano loop. Let's listen how it sounds clean. Okay, and now let's try to make it sound like from old tape. So basically when it comes to this uh, tape sound, for me it breaks into three major parts. It's flutter, it's dropouts and filtering and distortion. So let's add flutter first because this is the most uh, recognizable, most prominent part of this sound. Uh, and when it comes to emulating tape in Logic Pro 10, the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is a tape delay. And the nice thing about this plugin is that it can serve not only as a delay, but also just to add this tape flavor to, to the sound. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off tempo sync and uh, set delay time to zero and set feedback to zero dry to zero and wet to 100. So basically the signal, it just goes through this uh, plugin without any delays, but uh, I can add modulation, I can add uh, character to the, uh, to the sound. So uh, first I'm going to add flutter. Uh, usually I'm starting with uh, 2.5 Hertz as a flutter rate. Uh, actually all these settings uh, I will show today is a matter of taste. So basically it's just my preference. Uh, see what works better for, uh, for the material you have, for, for your uh, preference. So let's see how it sounds. Okay, so you can hear this uh, little tiny, tiny pitch uh, jumps, uh, which already makes the sound interesting. Another interesting thing in this plugin is uh, this uh, tape head mode setting. Uh, if I switch it to diffuse, it makes uh, transient smooth, which actually adds to this uh, feeling of old tape. But from the other side, what's what's happening in this uh, in this case, uh, the flutter is not um, uh, noticeable anymore. So if I play this, you can hear that. Uh, yeah, it uh, now it's smoother, but uh, flutter is not there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave uh, tape head mode clean in this instance and instead bring another another instance and do the same here. Also delay time zero, feedback zero, uh, dry zero, wet 100%. And uh, now I switch uh, tape head to diffuse mode. And also I'm going to add a little bit of filtering here and also a little bit of clip threshold. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. Great, so it's uh, it really sounds uh, much closer closer to the tape. So now it's time to add dropouts. And uh, to do this, I'm going to use a step FX plugin. So here I'm going to turn off filter, reverb, and uh, also filter modulation and turn on uh, gate add modulation instead. And here I will choose LFO random square and set depth to minus something 
and also tweak a little bit tweak a little bit um, envelope of every step so it's smoother let's let's hear how it sounds now yeah so now there are some some small small dropouts Great. Basically, some sometimes you will need also to tweak uh, all these steps manually to get the result you want, uh, because this random generator not always gives uh, the pattern that works uh, really well for dropouts. But uh, still, it's a um, really perfect and powerful tool to to do this and it has 128 steps so it's really a random i mean that when uh, even if it's fixed a pattern when uh, step 120 is playing it, uh, our brain is uh, doesn't remember anymore how step uh, 5 for instance was yeah so it really sounds uh, random but also you can make it even rhythmic if you want uh, if you want to 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 work somehow with your uh, with your track so uh, the last thing that i want to do uh, is to add um, distortion and to do this i will uh, use uh, fat fx and here i'm going to turn on uh, turn off everything except except this distortion section and it already has a soft saturation and a varied drive which i guess should be enough yeah sounds nice Let's compare clean sample. And the processed one. To me sounds pretty convincing. What do you think? Let me know in comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.